They say a smart person will learn from their own mistakes. And a wise person will learn from other people's mistakes. I always use a torque wrench. different size some of these are half inch I think these other ones are three eighths Next, these two bolts for the Jake brake housing and them two big ones back there, the two nuts. And that'll take the Jake, Jake housing off. And you have also below these bolts, you also have spacers. You have to make sure when you put them back, These two bolts, I think it was 11 sixteenths. Inch and an eighth. These two big nuts.
Okay, there's the spacers for the bolts. Sit right there. Then the bolts go down through the Jake housing through there. Better not let that fall in there. Okay, the next thing I guess I want to do is pull the valve cover. That washer went on this stud. There's a bolt. Pulls the rocker arms. Another bolt. And that one. And then the rocker arms should come right off. And by the way, there is a front and rear front. I'm going to spare you the pain of the valve covers. And when we get back on the next video, we're going to pull the rocker arms. And I'll probably go ahead and pull them pipes off video too. I might leave the intake on there. I might have to pull it. But we're going to get the uh, rocker arms and the push rods out on the next video. And possibly have it ready to pull. We're going to get the head bolts and all that out. So stay tuned, folks.